Well, it's good to win a football game. Uh, our team's been through a lot of adversity the last couple of weeks, and uh, they're a tough, resilient bunch of guys, and I'm extremely excited that we're able to get the win. Uh, you have to credit Coach Wilson and Savannah State. It, it's a much, much improved football team. Um, the things that he's done with that program over the last couple of years are amazing. That That's not what Savannah State football used to be. Uh, kids played hard. They played clean. But, uh, like I said, back to my guys, I'm just extremely proud of them for the things that they did, the things that they overcame. Uh, we fought. We listened. You know, we dug ourselves out of a hole. Uh, the defense played lights out in the second half. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something to build on going on next week. Cameron, how that kick feel? Oh, uh, felt pretty good. Um, Mom always asked me if I was nervous every time I go kick a field goal, but I said no. But this one, I was somewhat nervous. <laughs> so uh, it's a team effort. Um, it's not only me, so the whole team uh, together. So uh, we we came out victorious. What were you thinking when you uh, ran down the field after kicking? I just won the game. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I was pretty excited. Uh, everybody just jumped on top of me and uh, got a couple of scrapes, but it's all good. You know, uh, first drive, third quarter, they come down and just kind of, 11 plays, I guess it was, so they pretty much they ran it down your throats part of the time. Gives them a 17-7 lead. They're not used to leading. I suspect you were a little surprised they were leading at all. What did that do with you guys? It, it, was that the Depressing? Was it what? No, definitely not depressing. I mean, they, they come out and play just like everybody else, you know. So definitely, we uh, we weren't depressed at all. We came out after that drive and we corrected our mistakes and went out and played hard and now we're victory, victory, got victory. So definitely. Yeah, because they did nothing after that. <laughs> it, was there were there a lot of corrections after that? Was it just more effort? Was it was it what? Um, definitely just a little bit more effort. Um, I think people were, uh, a lot of the guys were uh, sometimes getting some of the stuff wrong and then we got that corrected. So definitely we made the uh, uh, right corrections and came out after that 11 play drive where they ran it down our throats and we, we stuffed them after that. Did they surprise you guys at all with how competitive they were given their history? No, definitely not because um, I mean, uh, was it a few weeks ago they had uh, North Carolina Central down 22 to zero. So definitely, I mean, they fight hard. They're not they don't lay over for anybody. So you gotta give credit when it's due. And uh, definitely, they came out fighting. I mean, they're trying to win the game just like we were trying to win the game. So. Greg, you guys struggled offensively at times, and then all of a sudden, second half, everything seemed to seem to kind of work for you. You had that long drive that followed theirs up right away. What's the difference? What was the difference in, in, in your two halves? Um, it was consistency. We just all started clicking and we got it together. Coaching a game like this where you lose your your start your first two running backs and then the team <laughs> comes in and and uh you also lose the starting offensive lineman and uh Darcel comes in and you, you sort of kept things going. Talk a little about this, about today's game, because it seems like you lost a lot to win this game. It's a, it, it's it's a next man up mentality. It's football. It's uh, it's week ten. Uh, guys are going to get hurt. You know that, that's why we have ninety guys on our team, so the guys have the ability to step up. Uh, I was, you know, very excited for Cope. He came in and got some tough yards, picked up some key first downs. Uh, you know, made a key block on uh, Greg's 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 touchdown throw uh, in, in protection. And, uh, you know, Darcel came in and battled. You know, it's just the most action Darcel's gotten all year. One thing we'll never do is, is cry or complain about injuries. Uh, you know, I'm sure people get upset with me because I don't talk about them. You know, uh, it, it's, it's part of the game, and uh, you know, I'm just proud of our guys that that uh, you know the backup guys that came in and helped us make some plays. Great third down play uh, on the scoring the last scoring drive uh, before the overtime. They're all over you. You threw a ball up in the air. What did you see? Uh, I don't know exactly. Did what you play. See I don't know exactly what play you're talking because about. The play that they're, they're hanging on you down close to your, down, your third down, about eight or something like that, around your your which row? Yeah, he caught he it up in the air and oh, uh, right. yeah. kind of like a basketball shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, um, I went through my progression and when I stepped up, I seen him, and I just tried to do whatever I can to give him the ball. With, with somebody hanging on. You. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron, this is, I know you hit the 41-yarder 
and then you hit the the game one the field conditions today the, I saw you in the warm ups it didn't it didn't go as well as it did in the in the two final kicks uh, talk a little about the field conditions and, and getting those field goals and those well uh the field was extremely muddy there was puddles everywhere um I had to do my job and make sure the the ground was firm and uh just did my kicks and followed through you mentioned nervousness in the overtime, but I mean, you, if, if you don't make that, you get another try anyway. If they, they, they won at the end of the game, they won it tied at 17. You're not a little more nervous about that one? Um, that was the last shot. Man. Yeah, I was uh, extremely nervous on that one because if I didn't make it, then who knows what happened. But um, I did everything I could, followed through, and I did it. Coach, was it a difficult decision to go for it? to kick that field goal from 41 yards out no. in that condition? No, we, we, we trust our guys. And, uh, you know, Thursday, it, it rained just as hard in practice. And uh, we made sure Cam got some kicks with the wet ball. Uh, you know, made sure his footing was good. And, and you just simply asked him, hey, Cam, are you good from here? He said, coach, I'm good. And, you know, you do it. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't spend as much time with these guys as we do and, and, and not trust them. And uh, he's not going to put his team in a bad position. And uh, just, just a simple question, hey, are you good from right here? He said, yeah, coach, I'm good. And, you know, fourth down, hey, let's go kick it. Their offensive line pushed your defensive line around a good bit for a while. Uh, and they got some young kids. Is that a concern to you? No. Uh, they, they, they had uh, 209 yards of total offense. So at the end of the day, I'll trade that for anything. Uh, they, they did rush the ball for 193 yards. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, somebody can run the ball up and down the field all they want to. But ultimately, ultimately they got to score points. And, uh, you know, our defense uh, gave up yards, but not points. Trail the third and I mean fourth and inches play uh, in the third quarter. You sent the you asked them to measure. Yeah. You sent the punt team out. You like that, didn't you? Well, how, how calculated was that? Very. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's just football. Uh, obviously, you know. You got asked for the measurement to buy time. In other words. No question about it. Um, you know, you do things like that, and obviously, you know, it was a time in the game that we needed to play. And, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, that, that, that the sneak, that the tempo sneak is something that we practice. But obviously the measurement, uh, and, and I, I, I thought the ball, you know, was closer than it was. So, you know, you know it wasn't like uh, I was trying to trick the official, but I, I thought the ball was closer than it was. And then once I saw how close it was, you know, we, we made the decision to go ahead and go for it. But it's just situational football, something that, uh, that we practice. is something that our kids understand. You know, you got the punt team there. you got the offensive unit there. It's just something that, uh, you know, I learned along the way from all the guys that I worked for. Did you ever consider punting the ball in that case? You go to punt. You sent team punting on field. Was that just? Well, you know, we we, we considered punting it, but obviously, you know, the, the guys took a few minutes to spot the ball, and uh, and and you could see how close it was. I mean, honestly, I thought it was a tough spot, but you know, we thought about punting. But obviously, once you got the measurement, you see that it's an inch, and and, and it just comes down to trusting your kids. I mean, like I I say all the time, I told these guys I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world, and. Um, you know, the, the, these guys have improved, man. Uh, our record doesn't always show it, but, you know, just being able to win a football game like this is uh, is, is huge for our program. But well, the punting team, the sending out the punting team was not just something to try to get them, get them all stride a little bit, a little off of there. No, it was, uh, like I said, I mean, if, if it was fourth and three, you know, I would have punted the ball, you know, well, but obviously. You knew it was fourth and something. Yeah, and I just wanted to see what it was. And if it was probably fourth and that versus fourth and that, I might have punted it. But. You know, at the end of the day, it's just uh, you know, it's just seeing what it was and just seeing if we had the ability to pick it up. That, that was a big moment in the game. How much did that jumpstart the offense, Um, it jumpstarted us a lot. I mean, we we knew that we were able to make to get that first down. So, just pushed. The O line got a good push, and I ran quarterback sneak. To the players, you've been in this situation. It seems like the last couple of weeks, uh, where you're close at the end, but you haven't been able to go. How how good does it feel to get over that? They have to win a tight game like this. Oh, it feels good. I mean, no one. I mean, nobody likes losing, so it feels good to win. You know, Ross, I answer that question too. You know, we'll, we'll all be back here tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning as a coaching staff, and the guys will get here about one. And uh, you know, it, it makes our meetings a heck of a lot easier. It makes those guys' workout session a lot easier. It makes our three forty-five meeting tomorrow a lot easier to just just to come in here off of a victory. Because, like you said. You know, we, we've been a possession away, you know, the last two football games. And uh, it, uh, it it just, I, I'm glad that these guys can go out tonight and have a good time and enjoy themselves and, and not have to be down about it. What's the status of your two uh, right back? <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, I, I don't think it's good. I, I think Quintrell's okay. Uh, I don't think Gerard is.
Um, I'll know a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but Quintro was just just kind of an ankle sprain. I think Gerard may have been you know a little bit a little bit more severe. But we'll check with Megan and find out tomorrow. You know what his injury was? Uh, it was something with his knee. You know, so it uh, you know when you're dealing with knees, you know, not very good. But like I said, you know that's why we've got uh, you know a guy like Coke that can come in and, and uh, help us out the pinch. Coach, you were down a lot today. You look on the sideline, you saw three or four defensive starters on on, on the sideline. How did, you know, as a coach, I know you said the next man up, but it it doesn't it wasn't it wasn't like it was just one or two guys on the defensive guy. You you started from the game a little bit behind. We don't even talk about it. You know, uh, <clears throat> I I have total confidence in our guys that are here, and obviously, uh, you know, you you want to have, you know, Lamonte Clark, and you want to have, you know, guys like that in the game. You know. Uh, you know, a couple guys didn't. A couple, a couple, couple of other guys didn't play today. But you know that that's that's what teams are. And uh, you know when you can win a football game like that, and you know you're probably down six or seven guys, it, it means a whole lot.